All right. Well, welcome everybody. This is a special edition of From the Helm with Marine Max. I'm Kelly. I'm Amanda. And we have a very special guest today. This is Marine Max Chairman and CEO Bill McGill. Bill, how you doing? Doing great. Hello, everyone. Excellent. So this is again a special edition, and uh, today we're going to kind of talk to Bill and just kind of get an insight into his daily life and all things that are happening at Marine Max. Because of course, this is the 20th anniversary of Marine Max. So, Bill. Let's start it off. Being the 20th anniversary, I mean, you know, what does that mean to you? Wow. Well, I just uh, I just got back last night from being up uh, ringing the bell on the New York Stock Exchange to celebrate our 20th. Yep. And uh, very exciting time. I remember that 20 years ago when we were up there for the first time ringing the bell, and. Uh, uh, what was really interesting at the you know the the New York Stock Exchange they they roll out the red carpet and so they had pictures from the original 20 years ago. Guess what? The CEO look a little older, and the CFO who doesn't look any older. Sure. Uh, we were both in the original picture. Yeah. And and a lot of our senior management like Chuck Cashman, our chief revenue officer, was was celebrating 20 years ago and was was helping us drive business sure. at that time. Uh, Brett McGill was there, mm -hmm. who was with us over 20 years ago also. So, but we were up there with a couple of our board members and uh, what the New York Stock Exchange said, which was which was uh, really, I guess, a compliment, or it's time to get the heck out, one of the two. <laughs> uh, what they said is very, very seldom do they see a 20-year celebration where the CEO and CFO were the same and a lot of the management. And so, you know, that's really an accolade to our company that uh, we enjoy what we're doing. Yeah. And so it, it was touching for me and for the other team members that were there as well because, uh, you know, it's uh, we're one of the few companies, I think, that has rolled together close to 30 private dealerships and uh, taken it public and it's working. And everybody's still having fun. Mm -hmm. So. It, 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 it truly does work. And it's crazy. I mean, we, we've been working on some things for the 20th anniversary and just seeing that photo from 20 years ago and to see you guys up there today. I mean, with Chuck Cashman as well, I mean, being here for right. around 26 years, correct? 26 I mean, years. Mm -hmm. It's just and, really cool. And Brad, I think, started when he was 12. It was illegal, but he started <laughs> <laughs> working, some working, some working the for the private himself. company at the time. <laughs> Well, well, as we've been doing the 20th anniversary, we've talked to team members who've been here for such a long time as well. Team members who were maybe with another dealership and have stayed throughout, so it's, it's huge. Yeah, and, uh, and so 20 years, I mean, you know, throughout the years, you know, what, what has that meant to you is, is just kind of being at the helm, no pun intended, of this organization? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what if, uh, tell me about some of the memories that you have. Well, you know, I wake up every day, uh, you know, excited to really go to work, and, you know, I... I think this morning I was here at 5.30, and you know, why do you do that? Well, you, I enjoy what we're doing. And uh, what gets me up is I know that we change people's lives through boating. And you know, if, if you go back and, and, and you look at uh, my early years, my early years were, were on a farm, and uh, my dad had a job in town, and it, my two brothers, two sisters, our job was to take care of the farm plus go to school and everything else. And our reward on a Sunday afternoon was to go boating as a family. So I kind of grew up with this boating gene, water gene, and, uh, and saw what it did to our families as we grew up. And then, uh, you know, after I graduated college and worked for Pratt Whitney Aircraft and, and uh, for NASA for a while, mm -hmm. um, and then got into manufacturing, what happened is, is, is uh, the company I was working for, Colgate Palmolive, wanted me to move to Boston or New York, and I was competitive water skiing, <laughs> boating, and uh, uh, two kids and another one on the way, and, and I said, uh, you know, it's not all year long up in sure. Boston or New York. Yeah. So I had an uncle in the boat business, and that's where I got into my passion, which was boating. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is better than to come to work every day living your passion. And mm -hmm. so um, I got in, I got into the, to the boat business in 1973, so I'm 45 years into this wow. and, uh, um, and still enjoy it. Yeah, and yeah, enjoy it very much. We just celebrated the 45th anniversary of, 
of Bill being in the boating industry as and, well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an important part of my life. So if, if you look at my three grown kids, uh, they grew up boating and, you know, uh, a few weeks ago, um, my son was doing an event with the Jesuit wrestling team, which is a local high school here in Tampa that he graduated from. And uh, uh, with all the, the uh, wrestlers out on the lake yep. doing what I did with Brett and, and the wrestling team, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah. And just so it, uh, uh, boating is, is really it. So I've got nine grandkids today. Wow. They're involved in boating and uh, love it. But, you know, when, when you grow up with this boating type lifestyle, you know, it pulls families together, and it's one of the few recreations that I know out there today to where it brings the family together. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest uh, rewards I get in my position is when I'm on a getaway event, which is the events we do for our customers, or I'm seeing customers at a boat show or whatever, is when the lady of the household comes up and says, thank you, I've got something I can do with my husband. Mm -hmm. And then the kids come up and say, great, I'm having fun with my parents, mm -hmm. yeah. and we're bringing our friends. And so it brings families together. And uh, so we're changing people's lives. That's, and that's what I really believe, and that's what I think empowers a lot of our team members is knowing that, hey, you're making a difference. Sure. Well, we need it today where people take their cell phones and set them Toss aside. Inside. and, and uh, not watching TV, and right. instead they're enjoying each other out on the water, and that's that's really what boating is about. Definitely, so true. I know when I'm out boating, it's like somebody texts you and you don't see it for hours because you have it tucked away. You don't want it to get wet. You don't care. You don't even notice. Right. Forget, I don't forget to take pictures. <laughs> It's nice to just spend time with people. For, for those of you tuning in, be sure to leave comments uh, in the comments section. Uh, we are here again with Marine Max Chairman and CEO Bill McGill, kind of talking all things boating, all things Marine Max for the 20th anniversary that's going on now. So, Bill. Um, the first 20, let me correct you. <laughs> of course, this is just the first 20. There's many, many more. Um, so let's get into a little bit about um, you know the idea of Marine Max and uh, how did you get the idea for Marine Max and how was how was Marine Max born in a way? Well, if you go back to when I got in in 1973 and you know it was a it was a couple of dealerships here on the west coast of Florida mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we started developing the strategies which are now today Marine Max, which is basically. The customer is part of the family, and if you and you, it, it needs to be understood that this is a discretionary purchase. It changes people's lives, but it's discretionary, and so people like to feel like they're part of a family when they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so we invite customers into our family, and so that's that's what we tell our team members all the time. You know, it's not a customer; it's part of your family. Sure, and that's how you want to treat them. So. So we started developing the strategies of, you know, we need to educate um, the people, the cost, you know, part of our family on how to use these products, but also before that, help them select the right product based on what they want to do. You know, do they want to go water skiing, mm -hmm. you know, which is kind of my passion. Do they do want to do some cruising, which is also a passion. Yeah. Is it wakeboarding? Is it, you know, is it... Everything in excursions is adventure whatever these emotions are that they're looking for to, in this thing called boating um, help them to be able to do that and so you know our team we're more focused on what does the boat do for you to change your life than we are hey selling a boat mm -hmm. because we're not we're selling a lifestyle and it's about this lifestyle life changing sure that, recreation and so uh, that's what we focus so anyway we were putting all this together and uh, we were friends with a bunch of other dealers across the country and we kept saying to each other boy wouldn't it be nice if we could put our companies together and get some of these synergies that are possible mm -hmm. as an example you know how do we take care of a customer who buys a boat in Florida and they end up in in uh, Ohio for the summer mm -hmm. 
And uh, if our companies are together and we're doing something, we can take care of those customers when they're up north or on the trip going all the way up north. Mm -hmm. And so uh, as we talked about it uh, long at the time in, in, uh, in 1997, there was uh, this thing called roll-ups and IPOs was going on. They were doing it with funeral homes, you name it. Sure. And uh, so we were approached as to how to do it and we decided to move forward. So there were five dealers mm -hmm. and uh, independent dealers. And I think there was 28 locations across the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were doing, I think, 250 million in revenues total. And so we went public. Yeah. Uh, I knew as much about it as IPO is, is a, I understood what the letters meant. But that was about <laughs> it. But we said, hey, we're going to we're going to make this work and the way we're going to make it work is this is not a New York Stock Exchange public company that's run short term we're going to do everything for the long term and we're going to run it just the way we would as far as the customer and our team members are concerned that we would do if it was a private company back when it was a private company that I owned Definitely. and the other founders and so that's what we do. So we don't chase the quarterly earnings. We don't chase short-term thinking. We look is if we're making acquisitions, which today we're 29 private companies together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look at it and say, does it make sense? Is the culture right? And so it's all about culture. And so it's about you know helping the customer select the right boat, mm -hmm. teach them how to use that boat servicing them second to none. I think we got 260 service trucks out on the on the road today to take care of our customers. And then the important one is get involved with them and having fun. Definitely. And so we've done over a, a thousand events this last year yeah. where you know we'll take customers up to Nantucket or to Newport or up up through the lakes in Minnesota or in Texas you know, fishing out on the oil rigs or whatever it may be, Bahamas. Yep. And, uh, and so these events, we get customers a chance to relate to other families who are also doing this wonderful recreation fun. called boating. Yeah. And uh, as such, I mean, it's like magic. So the kids interact, the parents interact, and guess what? They make some of their best friends. Sure. We even take customers to Italy, and they don't have their boat. Mm -hmm. They're there to enjoy each other because they're boating together in the summer and winter months in Florida or up in the Northeast. And so uh, it's a family type recreation and, and, it, and it works. And I, and I have to say, I've had the privilege of being on a lot of these events and just seeing the, you know, coming together with the service team, the sales team, with the customers, everybody's always just a family. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, it's it's always just coming together as, as one and having a good time boating. So anyway, we, we put it together and, uh, uh, you know, today we're 62 locations, wow. plus a location in the British Virgin Islands where we do <laughs> charter. Correct. And, uh, uh, you know, we're 1,700 team members. Wow. We've got millions of customers out there. Sure. And, uh, and and as such, uh, you know, this year, you know, I think we're on track to be in excess of a billion two in revenues. Wow. And so it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting. Yeah. And you know, the economy goes up and down. And what I've discovered over my forty-five years in the business is people are going to vote no matter what's going on. True. And and that affinity for this thing called voting. And this family connection of it is so strong that no matter what's going on, they're out there. That's and you know, uh, I've had customers come up to me and, and they've said, you know, if I was to lose my car, my house, I would <laughs> the ha the boat would be the last to go. <laughs> that's the last so, to go. Sure. Yeah. Well, you can live on it. That's good. That's <laughs> right. And I think uh, I think we have a question. Yep. Yeah. Back to events. Um, what has been your favorite getaway? Um, probably the British Virgin Islands <laughs> and uh, uh, Newport is outstanding it's it's hard to call it the Bahamas I mean Lobster Fest they're all wonderful wonderful events but yeah. what really makes it special is not as much the destination as it is seeing the families interacting with each other and having fun Definitely. and uh, 
I remember this one trip and this customer, you know, boats are boats and they're out in salt water, a lot of them, and you know, they're always trying to go uphill yep. <laughs> and uh, uh, to get out of the water. But uh, I remember this customer was having a lot of problems with his boat. We were taking care of him. Sure. But at the end of the day, on the getaway event, you didn't hear one word. It's just, it's having, just fun. having fun. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. having fun. I remember another occasion where we were over in the Bahamas and a customer went out on their own, not part of our group, yeah. and ran aground. And I remember that one of the friends they had made on a the yeah. trip mm -hmm. said, uh, you know, you can't run your boat. <laughs> Join us. And so they sure. took the Top family back from mm -hmm. the Bahamas and of course we took care of of making sure the boat got repaired and we even sent a captain to run it back from the Bahamas and those things teamwork that's teamwork and it's it's things that you don't see in the world a lot today it's all about making money and selling stuff but when you're selling a lifestyle that's where it really makes the difference that's definitely and uh, kind of just changing gears a little bit so some of the brands you know we have a, a, a lot of brands here at Marine Max um, tell me a little bit about some of the brands that we carry and, and why do we carry these brands and why are they the best in boating well uh, we've always focused on if you're going to do something and I learned this from my dad my dad's still back on the farm and he's he'll be 99 in August Wow. and uh, I learned this if you're going to do something do it right and the very best you can do it. So we've really focused on manufacturers that provide the premium product that supports this premium experience for our customers because that it takes the product to do it also. Correct. So I've been a Sea Ray dealer for you know 45 years now, and uh, it's uh, it's a prestigious brand that you know it's the only brand goes from 19 to 65 feet, and you know I know it's for sale now. And that's probably going to be one of the questions, what's <laughs> sure. going on. And, and uh, you know, we're going to, we are involved in what's happening and that process is unfolding. But, you know, I can assure everyone it'll be the right buyer and we'll be involved in it to make sure that, you know, that brand continues and does very well. We, we sell Boston Whaler, I mean, the unsinkable mm -hmm. legend and Scout and, and it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. We sell Galleon out of, out of Poland and it's just super premium product Top class. and does very well. Ocean Alexander um, it doesn't get much better in these larger yachts mm -hmm. and uh, additionally uh, Azimut Italian Bill, Azimut and Atlantis and Magellano and mm -hmm. Benetti um, incredible product uh, beautiful styling and innovation and everything that goes with it and we're actually contract manufacturing um, the Aquila brand, which we use in our charter fleet, and it's actually working very, very well retail here in the United States as well as all over the world. Sure. And so, uh, but the key is it needs to be premium product that's supported by the manufacturer that we can also get behind and support our customers. And, you know, here's Nautique. Uh, I probably own 50. <laughs> and, uh, Speaking of skiing. And with, with the water skiing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Um, just to take a moment to remind everyone, if you have questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll get to them and ask those questions and get your answers. So um, kind of the next question we have for you is we've talked about the getaways, the history. How has Marine Max evolved over the 20 years? What changes have you seen come about? Well, uh, Amanda, probably the biggest change that I've seen occur is that more and more retailers in our industry are starting to to provide more services mm -hmm. which I mean I remember when I first got in and probably for the first 20 years of my 45 a lot of dealers sold and they didn't even service mm -hmm. and, and then they started servicing and we're starting to see more that are getting involved with their customers not to the extent that we do but you know that are understanding that it is a lifestyle mm -hmm. change and yeah. that this is a you're selling not a product you're selling sure. more of this whole experience and so that's evolving and of course you know 
technology has involved uh, evolved to the point where you know joystick docking and, mm -hmm. and uh, Makes it navigation easy. is a piece of cake I remember Loran going out looking for diving fish spots and yeah. today it's better than that I mean you can see the fish on the bottom with the, with the finders we have and you can get within five feet mm -hmm. of that great dive spot you saw. And leave it there with skyhook technology. That's exactly right. The boat just sit there and it won't roll no. if, if you have a gyro. Sea keeper, yeah. And so there's there's just a lot of things that have changed. But you know in our company I think uh, what's really has happened and it makes me the most proud is uh, our team they're all on the same train heading in the same direction mm -hmm. and that is service that customer second to none and make this an enjoyable uh, lifestyle and make them part of our family. And we, I hear it more and more almost every day. And so, you know, it's about culture. Mm -hmm. sure. And you know, at the end of the day, we're in the people business. That's, that's the business we're really in because, you know, it's a relationship with the customer. It's having happy team members. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta have fun at what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Happy team members, and if you do that, then you have happy customers as well. As well, sure. and uh, so, well, it's changed it, a lot. Yes, and it has. You, you brought up a service, and, and one thing I hear a lot is, you know, other other, you know, dealers and things. They'll they'll kind of just give you the keys and walk away and say, "Have fun," you know. Whereas Marie Max, it's that's just where it begins, right? I mean, it's you have your service, you have getaways, you have. I mean, just so many different things all inclusively in, into one location and in one brand. It makes it convenient for a customer. Right. Well, you know, I, I tell our team, I, if, a, if a customer has a problem on their boat, whether the manufacturer caused it, whether the customer caused it, and that can happen, or whether we caused it, mm -hmm. it's our problem. Yeah. You run to it and you, you don't walk to it, you run to it. Sure. And then you communicate, uh, you know, what we're doing to, to fix that problem and help help the mm -hmm. customer, whether you have great news, bad news, or no news, you still communicate. And so we measure our customer satisfaction through Net Promoter Score, mm -hmm. and uh, we call it FANS, but it's Net Promoter Score, and uh, you know, according to the book, uh, The Ultimate Question, the average, first of all, the average, cust the average uh, retailer or manufacturer in the United States has a score of less than 10%. You can have a minus 100 or a plus 100 mm -hmm. when you ask the question, mm -hmm. how would you recommend Marine Max or whatever? And world-class companies are 40, 50, 60 percent. Wow. And ours is in the 70s. <laughs> and even after five or 10 years, we're still in the 60s. Sure. And it's because we run to the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's Impressive. our problem. And, and you know, we're trying to make this as enjoyable as experience as it can be. And you, know, you are going to have some problems. It's sure. just normal. Life. Both yeah. under a lot of strain. That's right. Well, and you know, take your car and park it on the beach around the salt water and you'll have problems there too. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Well, I know we had a question that came in a while back. Um, someone asked, you know, what motivates you to continue to be a leader in the boating industry? I mean, what's, what's the motivation behind being the creme de la creme in the boating industry? Well, I, I don't really look at it as I'm striving to be the leader. <laughs> uh, I look at it as do the very best you can do every single day. Sure and what happens happens and and so uh, you know if there's a problem accept that you, that you made a mistake and there's a problem and learn from it mm -hmm. and if 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 you're always do what's right for the customer and if you do and the team member and if you do that and you do it every single day then okay we are the world's largest retailer and we have unbelievable net promoter score and customer satisfaction and we sell the very best products and we do the most of it. all that is that's happens as a result that we've got we're trying to do the very best we can do every single day sure. and it's a day at a time mm -hmm. it's a day at a time and uh, i know we have some new locations 
at Marine Max. Um, I mean, we're always, you know, there's always new locations. Some of the newest ones being the new Miami Beach store right. um, and Island Marine up in uh, Ocean City, I believe, in New Jersey. Uh, could you kind of tell us a little bit about some of these new locations and just kind of, you know, the future of, of building up new locations for Marine Max? Well, uh, y you know, making acquisitional growth is can be a strategy for a public company and it, it's not our strategy our strategy is if we find the right dealers or the right marina location whether that's a marina or a dealership or whatever it is if it's really right and it has the people that have the culture we'll we'll do it and so that's what we found with Island Marine, that's what we found with Hall Marine and the Carolinas, sure. that's what we found with the Russo family up in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's probably worthy of a story. So here we are, Larry Sr. and his wife B, who was working in the store. And I tease him that he's older than me, but he's not. <laughs> and, uh, and he's got two sons, Larry and Alex. And so we looked at it and said, well, what's going to happen is they become part of Marine Max. And you could say, well, maybe a senior would retire. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't saying that, but you could think it. And uh, how's this going to work? Well, I can tell you, and I was just with Larry. He was with us. Larry Senior mm -hmm. was with us at the ringing of the bell. Mm -hmm. Larry's having more fun than he's had in his whole life. And his wife, B is still there driving the whole store. Mm -hmm. sure. And his two sons are performing at stellar performance. So it's, when you find that, you've got a win-win. Yeah. So it's a win for Marine Max, it's a win for our customers, and it's a win for them. Yeah. And so uh, that's, uh, you know, things like that really make, that's what gets me up every day. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I love. And it's kind of, uh, you know, they, they continue to be their family of, you know, their same customers are coming in the door, but it's just you have that extended reach of Marine Max now that, that it helps the customers no matter where they're boating or what they're doing. So that's, that's really exciting. Um, so as we're talking about new things happening with Marine Max, what do you see in the future for Marine Max in the boating industry? Well, we're going we're gonna to keep doing what we've been doing and just try to do it better every single day, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, and uh, so we're going to continue to look for opportunities, whether that's a marina property. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to look uh, growing the manufacturing part of our business, whether it's contract manufacturing or who knows what the future holds. And uh, but primarily, it'll be a focus on making sure we have the right team members in the right place within our company. And then it gets easy. You know, people have asked me, "Well, okay, Bill, you." You've been in the boat business, and you weren't a teenager when you got in the boat business. So, um, you know, what's your key to success? I mean, what, what, what's the one thing you can say? And it's I try have always tried to surround myself with good people. And if you have, if you surround with yourself with good people, and this is what I tell our store managers and our regional presidents and everybody else: surround yourself with good people, and your life gets easy. <laughs> Surround them with bad people, and it gets it's really tough. hard. That's true. That's true. I think we have another question from a viewer. We do. We have a question from Nathan on YouTube. Okay. Um, you mentioned the net promoter scores and how well that we're doing. Um, what do you credit as the most important driving factor in that good score? Well, that's a good uh, question, Nathan. And and uh, the primary driver. Well, we asked two questions. So I need to explain that. First question on a scale of zero to 10, how would you recommend Marine Max to a friend or associate? So that's pretty easy, okay? And uh, if you give us a nine or 10, then you know, you're a promoter. And uh, if you don't, then you're hurting the company. And so, but we asked the second question, and it's not, why didn't you give us a nine or a 10? We asked the question, you know, why did you give the score you give? you gave and it's all telling mm -hmm. uh, but 99% of the time it's lack of proper communication so it's mm -hmm. news no matter what it is whether it's yeah. good bad or none mm -hmm. goes back to what you, uh, you know don't tell me when I was coming to pick up my boat tomorrow yeah and don't tell me two hours before that it's not ready mm -hmm. yeah, give and me a notice if it's if, if that's the case but that's that's the primary reason 
-hmm. It's focus. That's very good. And carry. I'll tell you another story about it. So this goes back a few years. We had a customer on, I think, a 45-foot sea ray on Lake Minnetonka up in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And a score came in, and he gave us a low score. And he just got the boat like 30, 45 days before. No reason why he gave the low score. And so the manager at the time called the customer and said, how's everything going? And the customer said, well, let me tell you. So I bought this boat to watch the Minnesota Vikings game <laughs> on Lake Minnetonka and the TV broke. Oh, and I had all my family and friends there to watch it. And so the manager said, you know, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that right now, but I'll get somebody out, we'll fix the TV. The manager took it on his own, went and got a couple of Minnesota Viking box seats and delivered it to the customer's door. It was the right thing to do. World class. You know, so you, they're part of the family. That's what you yeah. do to your family. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's Fantastic. great. Sorry. Well, uh, I think that pretty much does it in terms of time. I think we could pretty much <laughs> keep, keep going, going for hours <laughs> with this. <laughs> Um, and if you guys have any questions for Bill, even after we are done here today, be sure to leave them in the comments section, and we'll uh, be sure to answer that. We'll, we'll get a couple questions to you after this, Bill. Super. And, uh, and you know, thank you, and uh, yeah. you know, thank our team for the 20 years and all their Definitely. hard work, and some of them 45, 50 years. And uh, also, thank you if, if you're our customers for your belief in us and all that you do for us. Thank you. Well, thank you everyone for joining it's been a fantastic show yeah and uh again this is uh you know check us out on our website marinemax.com um we are just breaking 20,000 subscribers on our youtube channel so a lot of you streaming right now on youtube uh be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already facebook facebook's a yeah. huge thing youtube's a huge thing right bill i mean social media is huge so we have uh, the marinemax leisure facebook page which we're streaming this on today as well as the Marie Max Yachts page, Marie Max Fishing, if you're into that, and of course all the local uh, Marie Max Facebook pages as well. So if you're in the Lake Minnetonka area at Excelsior, you can uh, you, we have a Facebook page for that, and then all the other locations. So um, be sure to tune in next month. Yes, July 5th. Watch for the time to come out soon, and uh, also don't forget to stay up to date on our website MarieMax.com with all the latest events, and you can also see past episodes on there as well from the helm. Yeah, and also uh, MarieMaxVacations.com. Bill mentioned uh, the beautiful location of the British Virgin Islands. We have a new base down there, uh, so marimaxvacations.com to check out. You'll have the time of your life. And thank you, Amanda and Kelly. Thank, thank you very you. much, Bill. Thank and uh, if anybody else has any questions or comments, be sure to leave.